Hi, this is me uh, at 10 o'clock today editing. I have bad news. The first half of today's vlog sounds like this. I have no idea why it sounds like that. It just does. Basically what the first half of this vlog was, was me complaining about public transport and I, I was talking about this whole idea of how there's three things that every functional city needs. It needs opportunity, diversity and accessibility. Opportunity being that there needs to be enough opportunities for jobs and leisure. Diversity being that there needs to be diversity in work so that it's not like a city that's relying entirely on one source of income like mining. And accessibility meaning that a, it needs to be accessible for disabled people and uh, and handicapped people, but also accessibility in terms of public transport. Brisbane has two of these things. The rest of this still has audio, so I'll give you back to Frank from this morning. But that's the stuff that that's the stuff that didn't record. I don't know if you saw that, but for whatever reason, that bus just wasn't using the front door. This just like adds on to what I'm saying, how stupid the Brisbane transport is. They're just not using the front door today. You have to go through the middle door. To give you a more tangible idea of how bad transport here is, Brisbane City is, there we go. Brisbane City is 1,500 square kilometers in area, and it has three major train stations. There's Fortitude Valley, which is where I am now. There's Central, there's, oh actually there's four. There's Fortitude Valley, Central, Roma Street, but that's like way off to the side and kind of useless, and South Bank. They go in a straight line. So the city is like here, and the train line goes this way. And Roma Street's like here-ish. None of this connects. And you know, in any other city, that would, that would be pretty much fine, because you'd think like, oh, they'd supplement it with good bus lines, or a tram line, or an underground, or something like that. But, but no, Brisbane doesn't do that. Brisbane's bus lines go around everywhere that you need to go. And then, on top of all of this, and this is why I'm complaining about this today, because this is the second weekend in a row, I think, where they're doing track works on the weekend during the day. And that just really gets to me. Because you'd think, like every other city in the world, you would just do track works at night. Like every other country. Anyway, that's my rant on, uh, on Brisbane City Transport. This is a, this is a formal, what's the word? This is a formal complaint. That was my formal complaint. Hello, f face. Oh, whoa! <laughs> whoa! Whoa! What? 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 You're, you're vlogging today. I am vlogging today. That's exciting. Yeah. For a city with as much opportunity and diversity as Brisbane, it's stupid that the accessibility of public transport is so terrible. Uh, Any thoughts on Brisbane public transport, Sam? Um, it's very poorly designed, isn't it? Can I, wait, can I tell you the funniest shit too? Currently, they've just spent like billions of dollars doing a new underground project. Guess where else those stations go? In the, the line! line! They're in the line! It's straight f***ing line! Just underground! <laughs> the new bus system is the same. I know! They literally just dug up the old bus, like, bus lanes and were like, well, new bus way, whoa! I don't know if you told him about this, but like, it's, it's $4 to get a bus. Yeah. It's oh, no, I haven't even talked about prices. It's $4 each way, but you could only get a bus to, like, certain points, and then you have to walk, like, a kilometer or two kilometers to get there, or you're faced with the option of transferring to another bus and paying another $4. And then going around the place that you need to go and then walking in the center. Here's like, that's what I just cut out. I just walked a K and a half. Yeah, here's what we, like, here's, here's the other backwards bit, too. We only just, this is how behind we are, we only just got the ability to pay with our credit cards we have on now? trains. Only just today. Oh. Literally, it just came in today. Fantastic. Um, but it's only on the Ferny Grove line for now. <laughs> Please fix. Please fix. Okay. Please fix. That's it. That was. I said before that that was the end of the rant, but that was the end of the rant. <laughs> <laughs> Sam and I have a bunch of work to get done today so because work. I've been sick, so I've I've been a bit out of the loop. But we're gonna smash it out. Yeah, we're gonna do and it. And that's gonna be t that's gonna, gonna be do. today. Yeah. <laughs> Bye vlog. 
I spin with Goodbye. Grayson. Mm -hmm. Okay, I have to go. I have to go I, catch a bus. I have fun on the catch a bus. Woohoo! I hope your bus is on time and Me. it's not full of like crackheads. So Me yeah. too. Goodbye. I can't be the only one that loves this like end of day dusk where the sky at the top is still like bright, but this is all like sunsetty and pretty. I love it. <laughs> Big busy day done. And we're finally finished with taking public transport. Thank goodness. <laughs> Look at this sunset though. Now you can see up my nostrils. I like wide lenses. <laughs>